Okay, here with Jamie Day for Wings TV after a great 1-0 victory over Maxfield Town. Um, we picked up from where we left off Tuesday, basically. Jane, that was brilliant. Yeah, definitely. I felt, you know, I was on the front foot again. Work rate and effort was um, was spot on. And um, it was just a case of not getting frustrated because I felt we was on the front foot and created some good chances. Um, and finally deserved the win. Do you think the performance was based on a solid defensive display? It's a second consecutive clean sheet, nullified their attacks and... Yeah, you know, I thought we looked solid. I don't think Macclesfield had a shot, you know, in, in 90 minutes. So I thought the back four had done their job really well. And again, from Tuesday, I think everyone's played their part. The front three worked their socks off. Midfield got the second balls. And, and this stage of the season, it's not going to be pretty at times. But you need to show the same effort and commitment they have done, and you get results from it. So uh, obviously, please, and, and like I said, I thought we deserved to win. In a game where we are on top and we are sort of creating chances that nothing's happening, is it important we keep our mentality, keep our shape, and it will eventually yeah, come? Yeah, it's just about not getting frustrated, and we said at half-time, just keep going. Uh, and if you get a chance, and that's that bit of composure that you need in games like today. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I thought we was in control, and it's just a case of not being sloppy. And uh, when you get your chance, you, you have to take it, and we did. And the goal we scored was uh, really well worked. It was a great ball from Ajala to Beautyman. And then the predatory uh, Blaine Hudson <laughs> uh, puts one in with his head. Yeah, I thought so. You know, he's got a little bit of quality to pick a pass out. And he, he done that great run from Harry. He's done well to keep it on, in fairness to him. And um, that's a bit of composure we're talking about, to stand up at the far post for, for Blaine to come and want to head it and, and score a goal. So obviously pleased, because I felt he probably should have scored beforehand. And normally in training he does. but. Like I say, he's in the right place at the right time and uh, really pleased for the boys. A couple of stats to throw at you. It's the first consecutive clean sheet since November and first back-to-back -back win since October. And that has probably shown us leap up the table. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think, you know, we had a little bit of a sticky patch over sort of November time where we drew some games we probably should have won, you know. Um, and if you look back at the season at the minute, you know, there, there is games where we should have got wins from it. You know, Salisbury at home, we missed the penalty, Grimsby, you know, we should have won that game as well. So, like I say, we're, we're getting better at it and I thought we looked solid today and we've just got to keep that going. So hopefully we can get a few more clean sheets on the board. Because um, I thought we've, we've looked pretty solid at the back. I thought all the loanies have done exceptionally well and the, and the new signings. Just got to keep it going, not get overconfident and just keep putting in good performances. Special mention for JT, um, Jamie Turner, who didn't have a lot to do, but when called upon, he had a good game. Yeah, he's earned his ground a week this week, so um, I'm pleased for him. He's, uh, it is, I know what JT can do. He, he's got a lot of experience, he's played a lot of games at this level and he's a fantastic you know, second backup to, to Butch. Butch is a league keeper, I think Butch should be playing higher. Um, and JT is more than good enough to step in again. Show today, just a couple of, co of crosses that he's come for, just deals with it, no problem at all. Relieves a bit of pressure, and uh, yeah, I'm pleased for him because um, sometimes it gets a bit boring sitting on the bench. Yeah, I was going to ask. Obviously, Lee Butcher wasn't in goal today. Um, if you could explain that, and also Louis Fazakli was on the bench. Yeah, Butch um, took a goal kick on Tuesday and, and slipped over, and just done a great one there in his hamstrings. Nothing major. Um, should be fit for next Saturday if selected now. Um, so it's, you know, hopefully the treatment's OK this week. Uh, there's more precaution. And Fazla, we just felt that you know, Con needs some minutes as well. Both had injuries this year and uh, Con has come back from injury. So we want to make sure that we manage the right people. We've got a lot of games coming up and we don't want people getting silly knocks from, from overplaying. Fazla had two games this week. We've got Connor that's more than good enough to step in. You know, so I just need to make sure that everyone keeps ticking over for the busy schedule that comes up you know, in a week's time. A couple of questions on our loan players, which are um, the likes of Sam Kong and, uh, and Hudson that's out on loan as well. Are you monitoring their situations and also are they training with us in the week? They don't train with us because they train with uh, the clubs that they're at because they obviously pay their wages. So um, I think for us it's a good experience for young lads to get out and play men's football with the view of us looking whether they're good enough to take on next year, I think. They could sit and train with us and, and be in the squad, but I think for their development they need to play with men and Malik and Malakai have done you've done well and I've we keep in contact with the manager there. Barney's doing exceptionally well at VCD. And obviously Sam's gone to Phoenix to get some games. So we've got four young lads there that potentially could come into our squad next year. We've obviously the budget that we're gonna have, we need to um, give these lads experience and hopefully they're ready to jump into to our squad of twenty next year. Yeah, that's good to hear. Um Harry Cornick uh, wasn't uh, available today. Is there any chance he could be back next week? Well, we, we've sort of said to, to Bournemouth, we've obviously got six loans and we're going to play five. And 
we'll keep in contact with Bournemouth and, and what player we feel we need for that game. Uh, obviously, if Aloni gets injured, then we'll, we'll bring Harry and Josh in. So Harry wasn't 100% anyway today, but um, both players know the situation. And um, if we need Harry and we give Josh a rest, then we'll do that. If not, I think Josh has come on and, and shown quality. He's a player that I like as well. So, yeah, we'll just make sure that we've got enough people to be able to rotate round. Another low knee that uh, you, you re-signed and you must have been delighted was, was Toby Show Silva. And again, he had a great game. Yeah, his work rate is excellent. He's a constant pain for, for the back four that he's playing against. So just, I just want him to get a goal. You know, he, he creates chances for other people and he's created chances for himself today. So, um, yeah, he's been excellent. Like I say, I think all the low knees, Alfie and Tom, have, have been first class and totally, Toby Ajala's, like I say, got quality. So... The boys that have stepped in have done really well. Just don't want to get carried away. You just need to keep plucking away and keeping up performances and getting three points. Yeah, we face an uneaten next week, and you know we're in 11th now, and you're starting to look up rather than down. Have you have you got a, a points total in mind that you'd like to get to? Well, we, do, we need to get to 50. That's the, the the target at the start of the season, so we're nearly there. Um, and then I just said to the boys now, we've just got to keep on going and just see where it takes us. If we can keep playing like we have done. Um, you know, we want to be looking up the table and see if we can get in the top ten. So um, hopefully they keep the level up and we can aim to do that. You know, it was always at the start to, to not get relegated. That was us being honest and truthful. Where club, you know, where we're at as a club, we've touched we've done that. So we've just got to try and kick on now and, and finish as high as we can. And finally, Jake Gallagher uh, makes an appearance for England C uh, in the week uh, in Jordan. Um, I think he's really deserved the call up. Yeah, definitely. I think. You know, what, what I've said all along is at this club people come here to, to develop and hopefully we develop them and they go on and play higher. Jake's a player that stepped out of the league, you know, two years ago and or three years ago and has worked on his game and been first class and thoroughly deserves that, you know. So I think it's credit to him that he's got himself in the England C team through, through good performances on a regular basis and I think it shows that as a club for young lads that come here they get an opportunity to show what they can do. I think. It's the third or fourth one now that's played for England, so you know we we want to keep that going, and um, obviously we want, we want to young players to come here and realise why they're coming here to try and make them better players to get in England see or to go back to the league. So very pleased for Jake. Hopefully he gets 90 minutes on Tuesday and uh, he's okay and comes back fit and ready for Saturday. Excellent, well done today, Jake. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. Phil. Thanks.